Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about a topic that's surrounded by a lot of mystique and misunderstanding, the deep and the dark web. But before we proceed, I want to let you know and I may want to make this absolutely clear that this video is only f intended for educational purposes and I don't support any illegal activities. All right, so let's get started. So internet as we know is a very vast a field right and you can compare it to maybe an iceberg let's say this is an iceberg and this is internet okay so there are parts in internet so something like if we divide this into maybe three parts let's say so this is the surface net and this as per some reports is only two percent of the internet that gets indexed by Google. So what we access in our day to day life uh, on the Google, uh, all the websites that are indexed by Google, Google, that's only 2% of the internet. That's that's all. So you can imagine, I mean, you get to access like thousands of hundreds and thousands of websites, but that comprises only 2% of the internet that we can actually access or that is get that gets indexed by Google. Below the surface net, there is an area which is called deep net. So this area uh, is called deep net because th these websites are not indexed by Google. These can be private servers, password protected websites, and maybe da databases. A good example can be uh, something like uh, uh, your Swiss bank account. So suppose people having Swiss bank accounts, the so Swiss banks would be giving them special URLs, special endpoints to access their accounts, right? So it's not like that those endpoints or the web, web, those websites are indexed by Google. And once you, and DeepNet is quite safe to uh, browse upon, access, right? But under DeepNet comes Darknet. Let me just, come on. comes darknet so this is the area of the internet where most of the illegal activities happen like selling of some banned drugs uh, you can hire hitmen uh, on the darknet uh, political activities political activism a lot of that happens on the darknet so it's not like that all the bad activities happen there are some uh, legitimate uses of darknet as well but this is the part which which is like highly and inaccessible to like most of the people using the internet now let's talk about how to access the darknet so the one basic thing you need to keep in mind before accessing darknet is to maintain anonymity and for accessing darknet we are going to understand the onion routing protocol let me just clear this and let me get my pencil out. So the onion routing protocol, what it does, it connects you to a network of nodes across the world, right? So it's like a very simple uh, protocol. And this is suppose you. So when you try to access any website, any darknet website, what it does, it takes up your request and it encapsulates it with multiple encryption layers, right? Like an onion. And then it, then your packet or your request traverses through all these nodes till it reaches its destination. And what happens at each node, a layer of encryption is decrypted, which basically contains the address of the next node. So when your request reaches this node, it decrypts the first layer, finds out the next, uh, des next destination sends the packet to the next destination this de decrypts the other layer so with onion routing protocol no node actually knows about the origin or the final destination of the request so that is why uh, we use the onion routing protocol to access the deep and the dark net and to use this onion routing protocol there is a specialized browser called the tor I'll just get rid of this. I'll just Tor browser. 
so the onion routing the tor stands for the onion routing browser so you can use this browser you can download this it's legal to use in india so there are no hassles but ensure that even if you are using tor browser although your request would be uh, routed through multiple nodes i would suggest that you still use vpn because any which way you become a part of this tor network right so i still suggest if you are planning to use or use tor browser to access a dark net connect to a vpn they buy a vpn online maybe nord or anything uh, and connect to that vpn before accessing the tor network so the tor browser basically connects you to the tor network you become a part of the network itself and then you can browse the dark web but now you would question how because the websites on the dark net they don't have the url which we the surface net has right like the google.com you won't find those networks uh, those urls on the dark net but you would have something like a hash and followed by dot onion so there are some wikis available when you access the tor browser i'm not going to download it and show it to you over here uh, because there are several reasons for that but yeah you can go ahead and download this tor browser and there are wikis uh, on on the tor when you access the tor browser you can actually find wikis which contain the address of few of the onion website which you can access but i'll still suggest that if you're not very confident uh, don't access those website do not download any file do not download any random files don't click any random links and always keep your tor browser updated so these precaution precautions you should always follow when you are accessing the deep and the dark net well that's i think all i wanted to cover in this video uh, i hope you guys like this video please do subscribe to the channel for more information and thank you for watching